We are only 50 days away now from the presidential election, but you can already cast your ballot in some local communities. Early voting began today in parts of Dane County. Political reporter Jessica Arp has more on that and also a new place where you'll be able to vote. This year, you'll be able to vote early, earlier than ever, and also in more places than ever, including the public library. Inside all nine Madison Public Libraries starting Monday, beyond the books, you'll soon find booths for ballots. So in the past, when you used to have to go to the city clerk's office, you can do all of that same stuff at any Madison Public Library location. That's in part because of the long lines that have become notorious for in-person absentee voting before the election, snaking through city county building halls. Having one location where people have to come down, find parking, stand in line, really standing in line longer often than it would have taken on election day uh, was kind of a ridiculous setup. Fortunately, the judge, the federal judge ruled that no larger communities or really anyone can have more than one location. So now librarians and staff have been trained to process early votes at neighborhood libraries. We're hoping that this is really going to make voting more accessible, more appealing to people. Outside of Madison, you can vote even earlier. Actually, they can start today. Monday the 19th. The city of Verona had three early voters on their first day, but a voting booth will be ready and waiting for the rest of this week and beyond, as they will be in communities like Wanakee and DeForest. We're really excited that we have this opportunity, honestly. Um, the two weeks before the election get to be pretty busy if, if it's a big election for us here at City Hall, so we don't get a whole lot else done. As for the libraries, they'll be ready for turnout starting Monday, unsure how many voters they'll see. What a great thing. What a great problem to have if we were overrun with people wanting to vote. In Dane County, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. We'll have more information on the hours and locations for voting on channel3000.com.